how are we today? Welcome back into the greenhouse. If we haven't met already, I am Sam. I am your plant collector in Melbourne. First off, I want to start off with an apology. I am so sorry that I could not do a video last week just because this um, package was supposed to come, uh, I believe, last week, either on Thursday or Friday, but it got stuck in the mail during the weekend. And so it is now here. It is Monday, finally here. This is it. This is her. I can't wait to get into that, um, but I also will be showing you the plants that I've additionally purchased um, over the week. So the original plan was that all of these plants would arrive at similar times so I could have like this huge mega haul. I did do some footage of me opening them up, so it kind of feels like they're still being unboxed at the same time. Regardless, we have one box to unbox and we have about one, two, three, four plants. This guy. I feel like she needs to have a little bit of a moment. How incredible is that leaf? It is bigger than my head. Wow. So let's get on with the plan. I think I'm going to do like the sad ones. You know me, I always love to leave the best till last. So I'll show you this little guy who is very, very sad. And to be completely honest with you guys, I am a little bit disappointed. I can only say that this channel is always going to be about patience and understanding. In here, my friends, is a tiny little philodendron lapinum, and I'm I'm actually still very excited about it, but I'm still quite disappointed about it. The main reason why I was a little bit unhappy with it is because when I first received it, it actually had spider mites and spider webs all over the front. Um, of the leaf. It happens. People are not perfect. Sometimes things happen and it just doesn't go the way that it is planned. I will not say their name or the seller's name because I truly believe that it should be about the buyer and the seller. So I have contacted her. We have spoken. There is no issue. Can you see her? Oh my god, look at the back. Oh, that's stunning red. I love it. Um, her roots are looking pretty good, so I'm not too, too worried. Do I want to buy a plant with spider mites? Absolutely not. But at the same token, I'm understanding. I think I can salvage this plant regardless. Um, it is getting a little bit crispy and brown and yellowy, but that's okay. We have a new growth point coming up so we can save this beautiful thing. These things happen. We move on with our lives. I mean, we, I still have the plant, so it should be fine. The next one, which one do I feel like? Oh, this one. You guys are going to love this one. So this one, I actually I'm trying to keep it out of the frame, but I'm holding it up above instead of like on the side. <laughs> Why am I like this? So I remember I bought one of these plants maybe like maybe a year and a half ago and then because it was quite a smaller specimen and I wasn't really in love with it at the time I thought I would go sell it. It was a little bit of a regret looking back now because I was like oh I really if I had kept that plant it would have been big by now. Sam found one very decent size for a great price um, and this one I actually bought from eBay. So the Lapinum so this lapinum I bought on Facebook and this guy I bought on eBay. And this is a philodendron extenum. And look at her! She's such a cutie! She came to me in perlite, but I managed to keep the perlite because I noticed that the roots were kind of like grabbing onto the perlite. So I didn't really want to disturb it. So what I did was I put sphagnum moss at the bottom of this pot put all of the roots with the perlite and then put another layer of sphagnum moss because your girl loves her sphagnum. Especially when it's like rooting and climatizing. Majority of the things that I buy or get, I immediately put them into sphagnum. I leave them there for a little bit until they climatize, then I pot them up. Coming with a new leaf, which is really exciting. This guy is turning a little bit yellow um, and I can't even remember what it looked like when I first got it, if it was this yellow or if it's just because it's climatizing. Um, but I'll put the footage of what it looked like when I first got it or opened it up. But this is her. If you guys have seen like the mature form of this, the leaves are so cute because the beautiful veins on this make it look so pillowy. And oh, there, you can see it there. Ooh, it's like a tenu pillowiness. Um, but the heart shape is so, so cute. And when these get really big, it looks so indented and fluffy. Extenum, I can't wait for this one to get really big because they turn out so, so beautiful. And I reckon the Extenum that I purchased a year and a half ago was like maybe half the size of this leaf, but I've got one, two, three nodes just there and a third leaf on the way. I love it. Woo! Okay. This is the last plant um, that I will be showing you guys um, and then we'll open up the box. Guys, this was my number one wishlist plant for 
a very, very long time. I have a friend and he is absolutely incredible and his name is DeRoy from Jungle Variegata. He knew that I wanted this plant for a very long time and so, without further ado, let me introduce to you this incredible philodendron, Jose Bono. <gasps> Mr. Jose, I love it. Oh my God. And Darcy, if you are watching this, I honestly cannot thank you enough. So this is one of my friends. He's absolutely incredible. The kindest soul that you will ever meet. And you should definitely follow him on Instagram if you have the chance. But with the kindness of his soul, he has sent to me this beautiful thing. And I'm just going to show you each leaf because I feel like this thing is so beautiful. It just, every leaf deserves a little bit of attention. That leaf just there. Oh my God, you're beautiful. Got so much splashiness. I think this leaf here, I thought it was variegated, but I also think that it may just be like too much sun damage, I think, but she beautiful. Don't matter, she beautiful. It looks like this is the second newest leaf, which is stunning. Such great variegation. Look at that half leaf. Oh, and the last leaf, that is the newest one just there. I don't know if you can see it. Again, with the half leaf. Actually, that's more than half with the variegation. Ooh, ooh, this plant does things to me. Ooh, so it came in sphagnum and I kind of just chucked it in this and hoping that it will be okay. Um, eventually, I will change it up to, what do you call it? Soil. That's the thing. Eventually, I will put it in soil, but until then, she's going to stay in sphagnum until it figures out what this greenhouse is and climatizes. It's really cool because it's got this like huge mother stump. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, there. Like that huge mother stump and then all of the leaves. So cool. It's like it's budded off the huge stem. That is my amazing Jose Buona. Jose Buona. I love this plant so, so much. All right. Now, I'm sure a lot of you like just to be shown plants but I know that a lot of you really love unboxing. So let's get to it. Today, my friends, I open up a box from the one, the only, Carrie from the Mellow Pot. This is not my first time buying from Carrie. I have bought, how many plants have I bought from Carrie? I think one. She is the best. She has such incredible plants and she actually came down to the um, Melbourne plant swap to sell all of her beautiful plants. Oh, actually that's such a lie. I've also bought another plant. Hold on, I'll show you. How could I forget? At the Melbourne plant swap, I was trying to be good. I was only allowed to buy one plant from there and it was gonna be from Carrie and it was a, that's right, an Anthurium warwickianum. Here she is. Now when I first bought her, her original leaf was like, probably the size of this Friedeck leaf um, and it was quite big and the stem, oh my god, the stem and the roots, the stem is literally about this long and it had so many roots. I think it was just the change in climate from Queensland to Melbourne, it kind of freaked out, it kind of melted and then there was also another incident but we won't go into that and the leaf dropped off and the roots all just like went to, I don't even know, mush. I think it was mush. So eight months later, this big stump has given me a double-headed Warraquianum. Have you seen such beauty? Have you? They're so cute and it's got, both of them are giving me new leaves already. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, such a cute little baby. So it doesn't have the veinings yet, but yeah, we've got two. We've got that little guy in there and this little guy in here. Um, but the stem, if I showed you guys the stem, it literally goes from the top to the bottom. It is huge then technically this is my third plant that i bought from carrie so yes i got a forgetii anthurium forgetii a anthurium warraquianum and now can you guess what i bought <laughs> if you guys follow me on the facebook um rare plants page for australia then you already know but if you don't i'm not gonna tell you you're just gonna see me unboxing i cannot recommend carrie enough she is such an awesome human <laughs> We had so much fun at the plant swap and just in general, she's just the coolest human out, providing all of the amazing plants across Australia, all that quality, good, good, you know. Beep, 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 beep. And just to be uh, clear that I have purchased this plant with my own money, little disclaimer, because I know that a lot of people ask about those things. Are you ready, guys? I'm not even ready. Okay. Do you guys also forget when you get plant mail? Aww. Look at that beautiful, that beautifulness. Such great packaging. Oh my God, no plant is moving in there. Even if I shake it. She always, always 
sends a handwritten letter to everyone, which I think is just such a personal touch. It's so beautiful. And here a little sticker that says, thank you. Aww, so pretty. Personal detail. And she's, she's written it herself. That's right. That's how beautiful and personal Carrie is. <clears throat> Hi Sam, congrats on the philodendron rugosum. This hardy beauty can tolerate lower humidity corners of your greenhouse. Please ensure temps do not drop under two degrees. This is perfect because I am lazy with my humidity. So we're good. Or they will freeze and don't like sustained cold temps. We're good. These are hardy, but don't be fooled. You must root them to send them off to friends via air layering. Carrie, love the mellow pot. I love you, Carrie. If that wasn't obvious already. So cute, I'm totally keeping that. Okay, so we've got some of that, which I will be keeping. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So there she is in all of her glory. Okay, I'm gonna put these over there. My friends, I introduce to you Another beautiful philodendron. This is Philodendron rugosum. Guys! Guys. I'm gonna need to have a moment with this plant, honestly. Wow. Whoa. Okay, so you guys will probably ask the same questions that I did when I um, was talking about a rugosum. Does a rugosum actually feel like pig skin? My friends, it feels like the pig's leathery skin in the flesh. So we've got one, two, three, four, five incredible, incredible, um, very decent sized leaves. So just there. I hope that it can get um, the amazing pattern on it. And some of you may be like, Sam, it kind of just looks like a normal philodendron. No, wrong, incorrect. This guy, literally the texture, the corrugated texture of this plant is absolutely incredible. So Kerry did warn me that this may lose one or two leaves um, just because of transit and it might have a bit of shock and trying to um, figure out, oh, I just realized this poor Baba, this leaf has like snapped in the mail, but you know what? It's okay. Things happen and I've still got the plant. I'll probably chop that off and then just let, just just have this beautiful leaf with me. But yes, this plant will probably drop a few leaves just as it climatizes here in the greenhouse. And I'm sure it's because it's normally used to um, Queensland. So let's just hope that this guy can be happy in this greenhouse here. I'm probably gonna chop that leaf off because it's not gonna survive anyway. Let's unpackage her. Let's take a look at her roots, shall we? I'm going to keep this box because we want to try and recycle, repurpose, reuse. And I'm just gonna grab a tub just because I'm ha that's all sphagnum, so it's probably gonna make a mess. Like I said, I'm probably gonna keep it in sphagnum for a very long time, um, up until it climatizes. I should also mention that when you guys buy plants um, online, there should be some understanding that there is a risk in buying plants online, whether that be that it there's problems with the post, um, because let's be honest, the post don't really care um, whether it's a live plant or not. They will chuck that thing. They don't care. So there is always that risk. We also need to lower our like expectation because plants do go through stress in the mail. And if there is a broken leaf, it happens. Like I'm super duper happy with this. We have some awesome roots on this guy. Beautiful, healthy roots that I'll just probably uh, keep in some sphagnum, very damp, not wet, and hopefully put it in a place that is not super humid, uh, as Carrie has suggested. And that is, that is her. You are beautiful, I love you. All right, let's pot her up. Let's put her in a pot. Let's make her look sexy. Now I'm also going to put her in a clear plastic pot so I can monitor her roots and make sure nothing is rotting. Um, I'll also give her a big dance of root roids because I want them roots to be happy. I'm going to place all of the roots just like around the perimeter to make sure that I can visibly see what is going on. Put some more sphagnum. I'm so in love with this plant. I can't say it enough. So Carrie, if you're watching this, thank you so, so much for this 
amazing, amazing plan. Hopefully I can do you proud and not kill this one. Um, but even if it has to drop one or two leaves, it should be okay because as long as we still have the plant intact, that it should be all right. But that is pretty much it, my friends. Thank you so, so much for hanging out in the greenhouse with me once again. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and seeing of all of the new plants and also my lapinum, which is somewhere, but I don't have three hands, so this will do. I will see you guys in my next video for next week. Bye, guys. Mwah.